Hi and welcome to another episode of Joe Sent Me. My name is Joe and I am your host today and today I want to talk to you about the top 10 ingredients that are used in most of the perfumes and colognes that we buy today. Starting with number one, which is probably one of the most important ones, alcohol. Denatured ethyl alcohol is added to a fragrance to act as the carrier. It modifies the fragrance intensity and makes the application to the skin easier. Concentration of alcohol to perfume oil varies from perfumer to perfumer. Number two is aldehydes. Aldehydes are an essential class of perfume. Ingredients that impart a vivid top note to the perfume. Aldehydes were first successfully incorporated into perfumes by Ernest Bow in 1921 in one of the most iconic fragrances ever, Chanel Number no. 5. Number 3 is Ambergris. Ambergris is lumps of fatty oxidized compound whose precursors were secreted and expelled by, get this, sperm whales. Ambergris is commonly referred to as amber in the perfume world. Number four is balsams. This is also where we get the word balsamic. Balsam is a sticky resinous compound that comes from tree or shrubs, which give a combined sweet and woody fragrance, most associated with well-seasoned, non-coniferous trees such as maple. Number five is civet. It's also called civet musk. This is obtained from the odor sacs of a civet. Animals in the family Viveridae, also related to a mongoose. Number six, we have eugenol. Eugenol is a powerful and spicy odor found in the oils of clove and cinnamon, also found in roses, carnations, and violets. Number seven is hydroxocitronella. That's a big word. Try saying that 10 times really fast. It is a beautiful lily aromatic. This synthetic is used widely in perfumery, particularly as a basis of all fragrances in which lily is the scent. And number eight, ionones. Ionones is one of the most valued perfume ingredients out there. They have a fresh violet aroma and were introduced in 1936 in Violettes de Toulouse. Number nine is musk. Originally derived from a musk sack of an Asian musk deer, it has now been replaced by the use of synthetic musk, also known as white musk. And last but not least, number 10 is rhizomes. Rhizomes are root-like stems with nodes, which grow under or along the ground. Certain perfume raw materials come from rhizomes. For example, Oris Absolute, or ginger oil. Those are examples of rhizomes. If you liked this video, if you thought it was informative, please give me a thumbs up. Also leave a comment below if you have any questions about anything you've seen. And if you'd like to see anything else, please let me know what you'd like to hear about down in the comments below. Once again, thank you for tuning into my channel. Please subscribe and have an awesome day. Take care.